Hi there, welcome back to Northlight Photographic Workshops. And welcome to part two of the uh, series I've been doing on building a uh, LED UV light box for alternative process printing. Now, uh, as you saw in the last episode, which is linked up here, uh, we were talking about the box that was designed by my good friend Clay Harmon down at Mountain Intaglio in, uh, in uh, Asheville, North Carolina. Now, Clay has come up with this design for this box um, and the circuitry of this based inside of this box, which you can order um, from Mountain Intaglio. And they're going to take orders on them three different times a year. And, uh, and therefore, you can get this box uh, only three times a year. But, um, you know, it's well worth the wait on it. Uh, I think I ordered this one back in November of last year. I got it probably in December. And it's just now that I'm starting to get it together. But uh, it's a really great product. As you can see, it's got uh, you know, a door on the front of it. It's got some die cuts on it for different materials and components that we're going to be putting into it. So uh, I highly recommend going with this if you're going to build one yourself. Now, of course, you can take all of these components and put them in some sort of a box of your own design. But it's a pretty easy way to go. And, uh, you know, if you're not going to do this yourself and you do want to have a UV box, I would suggest going to Inkjet Mall. Um, John Cohn up at Inkjet Mall, who is the uh, importer and sale, seller of these LED strips that we're going to be using in this, um, his company makes a really beautiful box. Um, they're so, somewhat pricey, but I think an 8x10 starts at less than $1,000 and highly, well, highly worth it if you're not into building something yourself, uh, into the DIY kind of route that I'm taking here. Anyway, there'll be links to Inkjet Mall below. Now, uh, we'll get down to the uh, components that you're going to need with this. And I would say that first and foremost, and most important other than the box, is going to be the LED strips. Now, these are UV, um, UV 365 nanometer strips that have been imported by uh, John Cohn up at, uh, up at uh, Inkjet Mall. And they are they're really great. I mean, I know on some of John's boxes, uh, they've gotten one minute exposure times with these with palladium. This box will be a little bit more around the three minute time, I believe. But, uh, but anyway, they, uh, they, these strips come from Inkjet Mall. They do a great job of, of, uh, of quality control on these. And uh, if you're not going to build your own box, this is where you're going to have to get them anyway. So. Cool thing about John is, is that he's given us a discount code, which you will find below in the description. Now that code can be used to get just a small amount off on your, uh, your LED strips. And believe me, every little bit helps. Um, now the rest of this equipment and the rest of these components, you can get through uh, Amazon very easily. Aside from the box and the strips, everything else is easily ordered right off Amazon. And I will have a list of those things down below that you can purchase on your own. What I'm going to do with you right now is just go through uh, everything that I have here um, that we've collected to put this together. Now, we won't be putting it together in this video. That will be in the next one that I'll link up here when it's ready. But this will help you get everything that you need to put it all together and have it all under, under your nose when you're ready to go. OK, so most important, as I mentioned, the LED strips. Uh, again, get these from Inkjet Mall listed below, discount code included. Um, you're going to want to cut these up into several strips that are very, um, you know, you're going to, they're going to be a certain length. Uh, you have to be very careful cutting them because there's little connectors in between each one that you can't um, cut off. Uh, but we'll get to that in the next video. Uh, so then you're going to need a transformer to run those lights. Now this transformer uh, comes, it's listed on Amazon. Uh, it's, uh, I can't think of the company right now, but it's a Meanwell, that's it, a Meanwell Transformer. They, uh, this one is for 350 watts, I believe, but don't quote me on that one. Uh, it comes, it's, it's, you can use it with 110 as well as 220. So depending on the country that you're in where you're building this, you'll want to keep uh, knowledgeable of that because there is a little switch on this that you have to switch between depending on whether you're in 220 or in 110. So uh, that is going to be needed. That will be listed below. Also, you're going to need some clips that uh, 
take this and allow you to bolt it into this box. Now these clips come separately, they don't come with the transformer themselves, but that will be listed below as well. Uh, next thing you're going to need are some fans, and these are small electronics fans uh, that are listed also. Um, you can get them, uh, there's three of them that you're going to need, uh, and they help to exhaust the air and keep things cool. Now, um, next thing you're going to need is a power cord. Power cord, depending on the source where you are, uh, U.S. or outside of U.S., you'll need a power cord. Uh, that will be listed below. Uh, going along with that power cord are, is a plug inlet. Now, this plug inlet goes into this die cut um, hole here. This plug inlet is for whichever cord you purchase, so you'll have to keep no knowledgeable about that when you order them as well. Uh, they come in packages of two. You're only going to need one, but, you know, it's always good to have an extra one on hand. Uh, you're going to need these. These are uh, awesome LED connectors. Uh, they'll be listed below as well. You're going to need 30 of these. I believe that these are, uh, these are definitely 15 to a pack. Each one is used for each LED strip that you're going to be putting in there. So uh, these are very important. These are on the list as well. Um, various connectors. We have two different types that we'll be using. Uh, both of these connector types are those that are compressible. So you'll have a stripped wire that you push into the end of it and you compress it with a pair of pliers and then you're ready to connect it to whatever component that you're going to need it for. Uh, so those connectors. Um, other connectors you're going to need are pole connectors. They'll, they will be listed as well. Uh, these are, this is a 12 pole connector. They come with a bridge and what this bridge allows it to do is what happens is you bring one, one, uh, one a wire in and then it activates all of them. So you can connect up 12 different wires from one on one of these poles. These are very handy. Uh, these will be used in putting in the LED light strips uh, in the box. You're going to use two of them per side. Uh, they come in packages of, uh, I think, six, uh, and they will be listed below, as I said. Now, you're also going to need um, some of the same type of connectors, but in six poles. Those are also listed below. They work in the same way. So we'll have those. Now, for all of these wires that you're going to need to connect, you're going to need some wire. I have two different types on the list here. It's a 12 gauge and I believe a 20 gauge. Now, it's just the thickness of the wires that you're going to use. Uh, more than enough comes in these packages, but it's always good to have extra wire around the house. Uh, and again, they come in two different types here, all of them color-coded, which will be good for you when you're connecting everything up. Uh, to keep those wires in check, you're going to need some, uh, some wire loops. And these are, they have a, a red tape on the back. They glue inside of the box and they help you route the wires and keep things, um, keep things tidy and, and in shape in there. Um, let's see, you're also going to need uh, some of this um, trim seal, which is a rubber U-shaped um, material that goes on the bottom of the box here and helps it to keep it from, from scuffing things that you put it on and keeps it nice and quiet when you set it down and that kind of thing. So. Um, now, uh, you're also going to need this tape. There's a 3M tape listed below. This is very important. It's a very strong tape. It's heat resistant so that it doesn't come loose if the box warms up. This helps you attach all of these components inside of the box. And uh, you'll need that as well. Now, also on the list are these nut, a box of nuts and bolts of various lengths and washers. These will help you in, in mounting different things to the box that need, uh, need to be bolted on. Uh, they come, again, more than you'll need, but they're always good to have around the house. And they come in a nice plastic holder to keep them organized. Uh, so then, um, things that you might have in your house that you're going to need. Some screwdrivers. Uh, Phillips head, flathead screwdriver. Um, a small pair of needle nose pliers. And I, I'm using a multi-tool of, of sorts here, so it has a knife on it as well. That's a good thing to have. A wire cutter and wire stripper. This helps you to cut the wire also and to strip the different uh, ends of the insulation off of that so that you can put it inside of the connectors and compress them down to be able to bolt them onto the, uh, the different connections on the transformer and on the lights themselves. So this is very good to have. Um, soldering gun is a good thing to have. Not totally necessary. 
but there are soldered parts on these lights that need to be removed and you'll have to grind that solder off or scrape it off. The best way to do it that I've found is to use a soldering iron. You heat that up and then you use some of this material which is called solder wicking and you just touch it to the end and it sucks the solder up off the top of it. Um, now, another thing that you can use is one of these. This is a, a kit that comes from Schneider that I'll try to link below. It's an unsoldering kit. This is a little plunger that goes down like this and what it does is you put it over the hot solder and it sucks it off just like that and it removes it away. So that way you don't have to scrape it off and perhaps damage the, the, uh, the LED. Um, you're going to need a measuring tape or, or some sort of a measuring rule so that you can measure out the various strips that we need to cut out of the LED, uh, LED strips. Um, again, very important. Uh, and that's about it for, for this video. That's about it for all of the materials that we'll need. Um, again, what comes with the box is this timer, which is fantastic to have. So if you buy the box, you're going to get the timer. Otherwise, you're going to have to source this in another manner if you're going to put it into a different box, a uh, different unit that you're building. But it's very important to have the timer. If you don't have that, you'll hardwire the, the cord right into the wiring system and that way you'll plug this into a timer that the timer will plug into the wall and that way you'll use an external timer. But again, it's really good to have it on board and uh, this comes with the box, as I said. So, uh, I think that's about it. Um, Stay tuned for part three where I'm going to start putting this all together. I'm going to get to it right away um, and uh, it's going to be a little bit more involved which is why I've gone to another video for it uh, and we'll see how, how, how that all works out. Um, everything's going to work fine. This is a very simple thing to do if you're um, handy with working with tools and with different uh, things like this. If you're not, I kind of highly suggest that you maybe find a friend that is or that can teach you to use some of these things. Um, I know a lot of people have made these that aren't terribly mechanically inclined and they've done a really good job. So um, yeah, but again, if you don't want to do this yourself, definitely check out Inkjet Mall and uh, you know, they will hook you up with a unit that you can afford and that you can, you know, that, that is sized to what you need. Uh, so yeah, anyway. So if you like this, uh, give me a thumbs up. Uh, I want to give a special thanks to uh, Clay Harmon for designing this box and the, uh, the whole circuitry that we're putting together here. Uh, and thanks for his grace in, in allowing me to make this video. And also special thanks to John Cohn and the good people up at Inkjet Mall for their help with the LED strips and with all of the uh, components that they build as well to uh, service our community. So all the links to them are below. Uh, again, if you like this, give me a thumbs up. Uh, tell a friend, uh, subscribe if you haven't already, and uh, stay tuned for part three, all right? Thanks a lot. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.